All right, today's big financial news. The Federal Reserve wrapped up a two-day meeting by raising a key interest rate by a quarter of a percentage point. From the White House, CBS's Nancy Cordes reports today's rate hike comes amid growing concerns about the economy, from recent bank failures to the debt limit fight right here in Washington. It's, it's possible that we will have what I hope would be a mild recession. Today's move by the Federal Reserve pushed interest rates to their highest point since 2007, and the Fed may not be done yet. A, a decision on a pause was not made today. It's a high-stakes decision because the rising cost of borrowing money has already contributed to the failure of three major banks in the past two months. It has also driven down home sales by nearly 20%. Emily Boyko has been house hunting in Minnesota for six months. I don't think anyone's ever prepared to pay more, um, but it's, cut, it's unfortunately our society. And yet the inflation those rate hikes were meant to tame remains stubbornly high, down from last year's peak of 9%, but still far from the goal of 2%. It's now clear that the Fed was late in starting its rate hike campaign. And because they were late, they had to increase by much more than the normal pattern of Fed increases. Now, some economists are warning that raising rates again could push the U.S. economy into a recession. In a letter to the Fed chair this week, 10 congressional Democrats, led by Senator Elizabeth Warren, urged him to change course. The current strategy, they warned, has the potential to throw millions of Americans out of work. Chairman Powell issued a warning of his own today about what could happen if Congress fails to raise the debt limit and triggers a default. But no one should assume that the Fed can protect the economy from the potential, you know, short and long-term effects of a failure to pay our bills on time. The president is sitting down with congressional leaders next week, the start of talks that could lead to a debt limit deal. But the two sides are so far apart when it comes to spending cuts, it's hard to see right now how they strike a compromise in time to avert a default next month. Nora? Nancy Cordes at the White House, thank you.